Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I'm a little bit sick right now. I don't know if you can hear it. I'm all congested. I have random times where I just feel really low energy. It's super annoying because it's preventing me from doing as much work as I want to do. But today I am making a dragon sound and I actually think I can turn this cold to my advantage. I'm gonna show you a bunch of my sound design tricks. I'm gonna layer up a whole bunch of different sounds that I make. But I think two that might actually really come in handy are the sound of my cough and blowing my nose. We'll find out if that works. Let's go. Gross. But for the first time in my life, I wish I were more mucusy. All right, and now it's coffee time. <coughs> <coughs> I'm hoping a little bit of the rasp comes through, but I basically, I'm gonna do a fake cough because I really want to extend the exhalation. <coughs> <coughs> fake cough turned real. Fake it till you make it. <coughs> I think that might have been the one. I'm weirdly happy about this. <clears throat> I think those will give me what I want. I think right now I'm going to do some dragon impressions. Just my best take on what a dragon roar might sound like. These will be heavily processed. We'll layer them in and they'll become part of our final dragon sound. Hopefully. <coughs> I don't know. That's like a goblin maybe. <coughs> <coughs> That should be more than enough. And now for the fun part, where I don't choke on my own phlegm, I'm gonna take the best of those sounds, I'm gonna do a little bit of processing on them, and I'm going to layer a few of them together, see where we get. I should have filled my reaction to first trying some of this stuff out. It's working out way better than I expected. The main thing I'm doing is pitch shifting. A dragon would be much larger than me, would have a much longer, larger vocal track. I don't know how, any of this work. But it would clearly have a deeper voice than I do. So I'm just pitch shifting stuff down like an octave. Listen to this. <sighs> Not a great dragon impression. You can still tell it's just a dude trying to roar. Pitch shift it down though. <laughs> Pretty good already. <laughs> but I really wanna make this sound epic and otherworldly, so I'm gonna keep on adding layers. I'm gonna process them a bit more. One important thing I should note here is I'm using Ableton's Pro Warp Mode. When you have warping turned on in Ableton, it allows you to change pitch and timing of sounds independently of each other. They have a few different algorithms for how they deal with the artifacts that occur when you try to do that. Beats, tones, texture, repitch, complex, complex pro. Complex pro is where I would go with a sound like this where you don't have a beat to it, where you want to maintain all the drum transients and uh, there's no melodic information that's super important to preserve. What I like about pro is that you can adjust the formants, so. <laughs> You can really dial in a huge range of vocal qualities using that control. Let's take a look at these coughs. <coughs> Same deal, pitch shift it down, play with the formants. <laughs> I actually like that sound with warping turned off, so I'm just slowing the whole sound down by 50%, no effects or anything like that, no warp modes. <coughs> There's a nice rasp to it. There's a nice little bit of uh, something in the upper registers that I like to it. I think that's a layer I'm gonna add in. <coughs> Let's look at these nose blows. Again with these, I'm hoping for a bit of that rasp, a bit of that, that upper edge to the sound, but also the kind of texture that I feel like I would associate with a dragon sound. I don't know why, it just feels like they'd be really grumbly, you know? So next what I'm gonna do is just fine tune these sounds. I've just been dropping everything down an octave to kind of get a feel for what it's gonna be like pitch shifted down, but I might wanna pitch shift it a different amount, just see where it really shines. <laughs> And then I'm gonna narrow it down to probably three to five sounds that I think will work together the best. First though, gonna take a slight detour. I haven't even told you why I am making this dragon sound. So, story time. I've been on tour three times with Harry and the Potters, one of the best, most fun live acts in the world. All their songs are about Harry Potter and it's just an amazing thing to experience. The two guys in the band are Harry Potter. My name's Harry Potter. And Harry Potter. Hi everybody, I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> 
So Harry texted me the other day and they are working on their new album and they want to end one of their songs with a dragon sound. He said, I guess what we'd like to hear is the sound a dragon would vocalize after she has been freed from years of being shackled by capitalist goblins. So I think I'm getting there with the sounds that I've made so far, but uh, here's the first text that I got. Andrew, do you think you could make a dragon sound with your synth setup? Which, any excuse to use the synth. And making a synth dragon, that just sounds like a fun challenge. So here's what we're gonna do. I've been thinking about what modules I have that could suit this purpose and I've come up with a bit of a plan. I don't really know if this is gonna work, but it's what I'm gonna try and hopefully we'll come up with some sounds that we can layer in to our dragon to make it even more epic. My plan is to use Manus Eteratus as a sound source because it just has this really nice, gnarly, raspy quality to it. I keep saying the word raspy, but it's what I want in my dragon. I feel like this has probably been influenced by Hollywood dragons, but I also want it to have some grit and aggression and that is something that this oscillator does extremely well. And I'm gonna try and process it with two things. I'm gonna run it through this L1 tube VCA, which hopefully will add even more of that distortion and grit that I think will help for this sound. And I've also got a formant filter from Motor, which I think could be useful. We're not dealing with a human voice, but we are dealing with a voice and the formant filter basically does some extreme EQing to shape sounds into vowels. We'll see if this works out. First things first, hook up our sound source. This is something I love about old noise engineering modules. They give you a hit button. So you can just trigger the sound whenever you want without having to hook it up to anything else. I know that probably sounds dumb in comparison to any other instrument, but when you're dealing with modular, all the functions are kind of parceled out in different ways. So. I think that's a decent sound to use as a bass. Now I'm going to feed it through the tube VCA. Getting kind of closer to a roar here. Time for the formant filter. So with the formant filter, there's three different vowel positions as indicated by these lights and you can sweep through them with the big knob. Whichever one's currently lit up, you can press vowel. You can hear it's kind of cycling through different vowel sounds. So you can pick which ones you want in each position and have them sweep through. That's actually kind of cool. I think I'm gonna use both sounds with and without the formant filter as layers to add into our dragon. We should probably also throw some reverb on here because our dragon clearly would be in a cave. This module is the Tip Top ZDSP. It's got a bunch of different cards you can input to give different effects. And I've got the Halls of Valhalla amazing reverb card in there. <laughs> Okay, now let's put all our sounds together. So there you have it, a dragon sound that I made for Harry Potter and Harry Potter from Harry and the Potters. This is gonna be on their new record. Unless I send this to them and they don't like it. I need a lozenge. Okay, on to making some actual music today. So that's a fun little instrumental. I will uh, put that up on my Patreon for everyone supporting me on there. This was made with, with the Electron Digitone, which you may have seen on my channel before. This was handling the two synth lines and then all the drums.
were happening on here. This is the Drum Brute Impact. It's brand new from Archuria. They sent it to me a little bit early, but it comes out today. Really great sounding, affordable analog drum machine. I will put a more detailed review on my second channel, which I'm gonna turn into more of a gear type of destination. On my main channel, I'm always trying to keep the balance of accessibility and creativity alongside some technical stuff, but I do just love to nerd out about this kind of thing. So um, yeah, go subscribe to that second channel if you're into this stuff. Thanks for watching and subscribing. I've got some fun stuff coming up for you next week. I'll see you then.